six months uh, later. Uh, so, 95? Yeah, good guess. I, I, yeah, I'm not, not certain, but uh, that day John uh, lost the ability to play uh, as he, his uh, physical condition worsened up. Uh, um, you know, he, he was able to do less and less, and, and that particular day was the day that he wasn't able to, to play the banjo anymore, and, and he uh, played the show that night, just kind of, you know, plunking along, making a, a little rhythmic thing, and even that was so definitive Hartford in its tone and its approach, you know. When the, when the Hartford string band plays, you, you get this, you know, just this powerful churn that was, that was just so amazing uh, of a support for what John did, just floating around on the fiddle and vocally and, and all that. It was uh, uh, inspiring to this day to think of uh, all those guys, Mike Compton, Chris Sharp. Uh, boy. Here's to uh, getting to see the old, the old timers, man. And that's the first lesson of the class today. Uh, I'm just going to keep rambling on here unless someone suggests ideas or, or directions for this ramble to go. So uh, feel free to play a song. Okay. Someday, my baby, when I am a man, the people taught you the best that they can. They sell me suit, cut off my hair, send me to work in tall buildings. And it's goodbye to the sunshine, goodbye to the dew, goodbye to the flowers, and goodbye to you. I'm off to the subway, I must not be late Going to work in tall buildings Tires and life is my own. Made all my payments and it's time to go home. I wonder what happened betwixt and between when I went to work in tall buildings. And it's goodbye to the sunshine, goodbye to the dew, goodbye to the flowers, and goodbye to you. I'm off to the subway, must not be late I'm going to work in tall buildings Where does an old time river man go After he's gone from here Does not fill the ear of the man who steers <laughs> Oh boy, I can't believe I forgot these words. <laughs> Does a man come back as a channel cat or a wasp a light on the wheel or the birds that fly through a summer sky fish living under Larry Keel <laughs> Where does an old time pilot go after he's cooled her down? Does it fall by the ear of the man who steers? 
saying hold her on that night there's a gentle sneeze on the river breeze saying son I'm going to bed then they light their pipes go ahead and light your pipe they go off in the night or was it fireflies instead? stood his last watch where well, he's gone up the hill to never come back from the quiet side of town but does the soul live on in the ancient song as the striker checks the gear or is it still afloat on an old steamboat or at this workshop right here. Yeah, John's still afloat on that old steamboat. I think we all feel him right here. Yeah. Brother John, brother John. Well, that was a good question, I guess. <laughs> You know, one of the one of the last times uh, I was at the uh, West Virginia String Band Festival. It's called Cliff Top. It's a really great festival where uh, there's about 2,000 people, and uh, 1,900 of them are really insanely good old-time musicians. And it's it's a it's a great festival. Um, John had, had, was, was camping there for the weekend and, and uh, had, had this spot kind of up on top of the hill and music just flowed out of the top of the hill uh, all weekend just like it does everywhere there but, but it was sort of like the mountain it was like going to the mountain John's up there <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and all the best tunes came floating off the mountain man, and I, I I, I couldn't even go up there, man. It was, it was just too much for me. But, uh, but it was, uh, John was amazing, you know, and, and Tim O'Brien spends, spends a good bit of time at that festival, too. And, and it's, it's, it's something, if, uh, if you ever get a chance to go to the Clifftop, the West Virginia St String Band Festival, check it out, man. It's a powerful music scene, how it's, uh, how all these tunes are transferred, you know. I got to sit in a hotel lobby one night in Boise, Idaho with Vassar and John. And, and they traded fiddle tunes for like four hours. It was amazing. And, I, and you know, I, I, I know a good many fiddle tunes and I didn't know any of them. You know, and, and it's, there's an old, old expression that says what, uh, when, a, uh, when an elder dies, it's like a library has burned. You know, and all those tunes that those guys knew. <laughs> wow, what what a loss to uh, you know to to not have every one of them documented. You know, so I'd like to propose a team re re uh, rehydration to uh, the steam powered area plane society and and the uh, and the folks keeping those tapes and all those things going, man. That's, that's a great mission. Here, here's to here's to. I guess it started with uh, with a bunch of tapes of uh, Tut, that Tut Taylor had uh, sitting around in his kitchen. Man, is uh, anyone here from that that organization to talk about what's going? On? Yeah, but things are going good with uh, with the effort to document everything that's ever been played in anybody's kitchen in the world. Yeah. The Steam Powered Preservation Society. Check it out, man. It's a it's a great great thing. You know, um, 
you know, I, I got to hang out at Sam Bush's house one night, and, and Sam showed me this room that was just tapes, you know, all hanging in boxes and all stuff, you know. What do you do with that, you know? And, you know, I, it's, a, it's a challenge. I have a, a friend named Glenn Howard from the American Musicians Resource Center. He, was, uh, he has 800,000 records. And, and uh, you know, moving them every 10 years when he you know, loses funding and goes to that. He's now attempting to digitize all of it so it's available and, and cross-referenced and all that. And it's a major project. But, uh, you know, when I, when I think of Vassar and John sitting in that room and think, wow, this should be documented, I think of, uh, of those organizations doing that stuff. And uh, that's important things, man. For those of you who never got to see John, you know, uh, there are a lot of videotapes and, and all that you should should study, like going to the mountain. You know, there's uh, there's nothing like you know listening to those those old time masters. You know, and, and uh, going back to the original sources of bluegrass and all that is is uh, real important for people learning to play. You know, uh, and now the next now it's time to move on to. Uh, Another subject, uh, let's see, should we talk about geography, spelling, what, uh, uh, Chinese algebra, Chinese, uh, <laughs> oh, there, there you go. Uh, what do you think, should we go to the political science class? Uh, uh, okay. Okay, it's time for gym class then. I, I, want, I want everybody to stand up. If you're willing, we're going to do a gym class. All right, this is uh, called the psychedelic stomp. Well, you put your right foot on your left, and you bring your left foot down. With your hand in the middle and your pocket up high, you turn about halfway around. You don't do the Austin Shuffle or the Jackson Drag Cause you might be moving in an unhit bag It's a folk country, discotheque, and soft rock Contemporary, abstract, expressionism, word, movie, flower power, hard drive, need a blue stone bout to get like a psychedelic stomp Well, you put your elbows up on your toes Turn the dog and pull out the nose <laughs> Back in a little bit the dough side dough, or a little more side, a little less dough. Roll out the door, get out of sight, then you roll out the door till you plumb out of sight. Well, you put your right foot on your left, and you bring your left foot down. With your hand in your pocket and your chin up high, and turn about halfway around. You don't do the Austin awesome or the Jackson drag, cause it might be moving here and unhit back. It's folks country disconnect, soft rock, contemporary, so abstract expressionism, word movie, fly by our hard drive, no bill, stoned out, freaked out, coming on psychedelic. Stone. All right, y'all get your credit for gym class today. All right, we're it's time for a spelling class. Uh, yeah, Doc. Uh, history lesson: uh, the uh, origin of uh, Anawak. The origin of Anawak. Yes. Okay. There's a uh, a song by the. Uh, by the Austin Lounge Lizards. That goes like this. I was, uh, I was born when I was little in the town of Anahuac, where the air is all smelly and mom is on crack. With my head in the clouds and my head in the paper sack, sniffing blue in the town of Anahuac. Anahuac, Anahuac, where well, you used to be my home, but you're not anymore. Anahuac. my home but you're not anymore it's a beautiful poetic. so you know we way back in uh, 90 uh, uh, 89 90 uh, we were at the Telluride Bluegrass Festival and we've been playing that song uh, and we decided that our friend who was sleeping really shouldn't be sleeping and uh, so we went to her tent and surrounded it and played that song. 
And when we saw sufficient enough rustling to indicate that she was awake, we ran away. <laughs> that started uh, the transition from Anahuac being a, not only a town in Texas and a, and a tribe in Mexico, uh, but it's, you know, and also a song by the Austin Lounge List, it also became a verb. <laughs> to Anahuac means to go rouse somebody up with loud music and then run away. There is a uh, there is a a, a very uh, a very uh, very proper woman once approached me in Telluride and said, "Young man, I have a question for you. I have been to Anahuac, Texas. It is nothing to sing about. How is it that it has become a verb?" And yeah, I explained this story to her. Yeah. She didn't she didn't like it though that uh, uh, a noun could be a verb. But, you know, yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah. The, so the Anahuac evolved from from that, that going to one campsite and waking someone up to uh, going and Anahuacing a pick. You know, say there's a, a little kind of a sensitive folk song thing going on, and, and you've been drinking, you know, who knows what concoctions of elixirs from the gods, and. Uh, you decided this folk music thing just isn't the vibe that the festival needs and uh, you get ten of your picking friends to quietly surround the campfire and at the given sign, like say the trash can lid dropping, everybody yells, Anawak! Anawak! <laughs> totally destroying the folk music moment at just the right time and then running away. So. What started happening is when we, we'd run away, you know, half of that pick would come with us. <laughs> and then we'd go to the opposite side of the campground and perform the Anahuac to an unsuspecting bunch. You know, only because it was, you know, convenient to go somewhere where they didn't know this is about to happen. And then you'd do that, and then a few more people would be straggling along, and eventually you'd, we'd have 40, 50, 100 people uh, running around uh, doing this Anahuac thing and it kind of, you know, grew on its own, own way. One of the first ones was a, 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 a motorhome pulling into the Telluride campground and we surrounded it and made it stop by singing uh, a Christmas carol. I can't remember what it, what it was. But, but they, they were truly frightened to like lock the doors, <laughs> close the curtains, like where where did we end up? Um, yeah, we, we, we've done that in, 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 and so that, that kind of led to parading. Um, and yeah, the idea of the parade and, and Anahuac kind of merged and, and uh, just mass movements of people were fun, you know? Kind of like the Mother's Day March, or, or, or the, the, the mo mo Million Moms March the day after the inauguration. But that's political science class, really. Was. So that was an amazing thing, yes, March of the Street, yes. Uh, you know, these skills are, are, can be used in, in many, many applications. Uh, you can go and Anahuac your local senator's office. You could, kids. It is like if you have any time left in school, you know, it's pretty slack these upcoming weeks. I'd really recommend just invading the teacher's lounge some lunch day, you know, with uh, a performance of Heathens or something like that. Uh, all my friends are heathen, take it slow. You don't know who's sitting next to you in this crowd, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that, that's anawacking, and uh, um, it's uh, it's really fun. And, and like acoustic music, you don't need any special special tools or, or any uh, electrical requirements that can be done acoustically, even though it can get really loud. Um, now. At this point, I have to tell you that there are, you know, some some negative effects of this. Um, one of them uh, uh, can be called uh, 
the festive villains. Are you doing four or not two? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do it for you, not to you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, you know, as you as you do these things, you know these these crazy maneuvers, it forms a bond, and sometimes the bond just gets way too strong for the good of the general public. It hasn't gone quite there yet. That's a challenge for you guys tonight. We'll do it. We'll do it in the spirit of Jeff Calvert. Excellent. Excellent. Absolutely. Here's the Jeff. Nice. Yes, All right. So, uh, yeah, Anna Wagon Gets Wild. Um, I recommend you do it. You will probably be part of it tonight, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I have a feeling. Uh, are there, uh, did that conversation go long enough? <laughs> Yes, it's a gift to the people who sleep. It is. It is. It's a gift. All right. How about a uh, how about a tune? Yeah. All right. Back in 1921, National Guard, State Police, and coal company guns shot down a hundred miners at the boss's stopper ponds. And up on Old Blair Mountain, their ghosts are in the ground. When it marched out of the Tuck Fork, but Sid Hatfield was shot down at the McDowell County Courthouse, cold cops fired around. 10,000 Union miners got bloody Mingo bound And up on old Blair Mountain their ghosts are in the ground Blair Mountain where bombs keep cleaning down And machine guns on the ridge line try to turn the Union round They say that mine is only worth the coal that's in the ground But the ghost of all those miners still are walking around And brings the fighting out of me Thinking about the good men And the fat cat companies That want to tear Blair Mountain down To erase a memory For a little bit of coal Just to sell across the sea With Blair Mountain Bombs keep raining down And machine guns on the ridge line Try to turn the union around They say that mine It's only worth the coal That's in the ground but it goes to those dead miners, they're all up on their ground. Well, it's a fight to make a living, and it's a fight to get along. It's a fight back there in the hills over what is right and wrong. Well, they want to tear Blair Mountain down to erase the memory for a little bit of coal. That's not what I see. Yeah, Blair Mountain, bombs keep raining down. And machine guns on the ridge line try to turn the union round. They said that mine is only worth the coal that's in the ground. But the ghosts of those dead miners still up walking around. Actually, uh, I, I, it, it occurred to me during that song, I was wondering, why am I doing this song? It's actually an example of an anawak.
seriously, in, in 1921, the, the coal miners in West Virginia were out, going on strike because they, they had their wages reduced and they, they just weren't going to take it anymore. And 10,000 miners were coming out of the valleys, marching towards Charleston, and they were bombed by the United States, by our military. The miners were bombed. This is where the term redneck comes from. They had red kerchiefs on them to symbolize that they were free of the United Mine Workers Union, and they were marching. And they were actually bombed by U.S. planes. The only only time in U.S. history, well, except for Move in Philadelphia, I guess, but that uh, um, that drums were bought on U.S. citizens. And, and in this place that, that where the coal companies and the miners they they all met and had this battle on Blair Mountain, where where a, a lot of people died, um, and and they wanted mountaintop removed the site that should be a monument to American labor, you know. If, if labor means anything, if labor history means anything, Blair Mountain shouldn't be ripped up for a little bit of coal. So, kind of. That, uh, um, I wrote that song probably about five years ago, and, and since then there's there's so much damn fracking going on that <laughs> mountaintop removal isn't worth it to, to do anymore, so that's that's gone away, but you know, it was economics that did it in the end. But, yeah. Uh, Any fracking songs? Uh, oh man, I, I haven't I haven't allowed myself to go there yet. But, uh, but I'll I'll write one right now. How about that? There you go. Earthquakes in Oklahoma rumble from the ground. All the natives, they got stories about that sound rumble up in the earth, and they let it there. They can't believe uh, what we're doing down there. And out in West Virginia, and back in my hometown, southern Pennsylvania, there's shellionaires around. People let a pipeline or a well go on their land. And now they're dancing all the way to the bank with their lands trashed. I used to sit in this sweet valley at my buddy's house. He got a new garage, man. He built that sucker out. And then this plant went on the ridge across the hill. Fire belched out of these smoke-breathing dragons up there still. It's, it's a gas plant where they break it all down and burn off the excess that they're sucking out of the ground and that mother earth bleeds and I went up there one night been smoking pot and drinking whiskey and driving out of my friend's driveway I said man I'm gonna go up there and saw the strangest vision ever man as I was coming up on this thing you know the, the big uh big orange off venting gas burning and this weird glowing light like it was a stadium around the corner with a football game that was just canceled but the lights were still on and and this deer right as i'm thinking man this is the weirdest thing i've ever seen this deer jumps up out of the road down below comes across right in front of me looks at me and then jumps over the fence into the light of that burning fire, man. I mean, like, oh man, it burned an image in my brain that I will never forget. And neither will my friend who paid off his debt. And now he sits in the valley with a sickening orange glow. Back there where Mother Earth used to flow. And now the streams are bad, the water sucks, and they come by in these trucks and pump it out so they can pump more in. Don't care where that water comes back up. It's, it's radiated. It's nuclear rated. They got secret things down there. They, they don't have to disclose. It's a trade secret. Halliburton cares. They don't care about you. They care about the money coming from the ground. And I probably figured that Rex Tillerson has his own little oil round. 
He's thinking about that Siberian oil deal. That's what's on his mind. Just get rid of the sanctions. All that Ukraine shit. No, no, these Russian guys are fine. And that's how the money rolls around. It's oil and it's guns and that's all that they care. Except for us. And we're sitting here. We got old time music on our side. We got connected. We got roots. And we know when some bluster ego head blows through and he spooks us a little bit in the beginning, by the end we're going to win, man. Love trumps all, baby. That's a hard for fist way. Yeah, let me testify even though it's Friday. I say hey. We got that old time mountain music. So and have the crowd go <laughs> just oh the mastery of that man's performance man just oh I can't speak enough about it well played so, alright what do you know about all the riverboat and stuff riverboat and stuff <laughs> gonna ride me a riverboat one of these days Take this guitar and go on and float away. Ride the river down to New Orleans. Few good friends and my sweet little queen. Tell the stories about the times we'd seen one of these days. I find a place to call home one of these days. A little farm of my own one of these days. Chickens and goats. A river to float, singing songs, my sweet baby road. I'm never gonna hit the wrong note. One of these days, one of these days, I'm gonna take the time, ride that river, listen to my mind, let it roll, roll, roll like a fishing.